Dave had a joke to tell you? He had a joke up his sleeve, but he left his sleeves at home. Oh, sorry. But Jake had some uh, sleeves and jokes and stuff. <laughs> Gosh. Dolly G, here it is. Woo! Dolly G, here I am. Okay, guys, how's it going? Now, this is kind of awkward because I asked for a green light. But we'll just keep going. Because, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day. Did everybody have a good St. Patrick's Day? How was that for you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, to be honest, I don't really get St. Patrick's Day. I don't really get why we have that. So I decided to go to the smartest person I know and ask him, why do we have St. Patrick's Day? So, of course, I went to my older brother, Jesse. <laughs> Good thing you guys laughed at that. That's my best joke. Um, anyway, so I go up to Jesse, and Jesse said, Well, Jake, if you came to my college and you asked that, everybody would say, We get to drink! <laughs> but come on, guys, that's, that's, that's just dumb. I mean, let me make a public service announcement right now. Don't drink. Don't do drugs. Because, well, <laughs> let, me, let me just show you guys. When you're messed up, the Pringles and Comet look very similar to each other. <laughs> Bad things can happen, people. Bad things. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to the holiday stuff. You know, I mean, I get some of the holidays. Um, let's see, we got Christmas, Easter, Independence Day. I mean, that's, you know, our country and, and Jesus Christ. Well, but actually, Jesus. You know, that's, that's pretty important. So, you know, we gotta give respect to those, but like, Halloween, Groundhog's Day, and then we got, wait, what, April Fool's Day? That's ridiculous, guys. That is not holiday justice. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today, holiday justice. So this all got me thinking, is there anybody out there that has been unrecognized by our 12-month calendar? Is there any hero out there whose cosmic abilities have yet to be recognized by all of us with their own day? Yeah! And I, I thought of that hero. That hero is John Crapper. Yes, John Crapper. Everybody, you're out there saying, who? Who's John Crapper? I'll tell you. That's right. Dude invented the toilet. How does he not have a holiday? That is not holiday justice. Okay? Now guys, this is true. I want all you guys to go, if you don't believe me, go home, get on your computers, type in John Crapper, or if you're feeling really gutsy, pull out your phones, John Crapper. But, but, as we all know, do not use Wikipedia. It is an unreliable source. Anybody can get on there and write whatever they want. Justin Bieber fans have been swarming Wikipedia for the past few weeks. Okay, 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 let me just, let me just stop. It's okay. Use Wikipedia. It will tell you nobody will get hurt. Okay, so the way I see it, Martin Luther King, he had this dream, right? So he got a holiday. Deservingly so. John Crapper, John Crapper gave us that dream. Why don't we give him a holiday? That is holiday justice. Yeah. Okay, now guys, this is, this is pretty exciting for me. I mean, this is like my first time doing stand-up comedy for the school here. It's pretty fun. Um, but this is like a talent show, right? We got all these talented people here. We've got these, these awesome singers like Sophie Martin, Sarah Ahrens, and you're going to see more people coming up. There's these awesome singers, one after another. Absolutely unbelievable. So we got all these singers, and just talented person, talented person, talented... Uh, so it's kind, of, it's kind of interesting the way this happened. You know, everybody was auditioning, I was in the room, and, well, I got up there with a completely straight face, and... Baby, 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 oh! Um... And, to be honest, I thought that was pretty good. So I come out of the audition, I'm feeling pretty good, and... Emily Rapport, she's been, like, coordinating this whole talent show thing. She comes up to me, and she's like, Jake, you're a really great comedian. And, well, you know, she gave me that, that sensitive arm touch thing. And you, you know how guys like that. So she said, Jake, you're such a great comedian. I said, well, anything for you, baby, you know what I'm saying? 
So uh, when I said this was my first time, I really meant it. <laughs> and uh, that's my time, guys. Thank you very much.